today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make six DIY scrunchies, just like this one here. So this is really easy because all you need to do is find some old clothes that you don't wear anymore that have like a cute pattern to them or just like a simple colour that you like and then a hot glue gun and a thick hairband. This scrunchie here is actually made out of my Leavers school dress for the play so um, it's really cute just to use really anything because this has a cute pattern so we've just used it because it has flowers on it and it looks really pretty in your hair. So let's move on and show you how to make a DIY scrunchie. So the first material I'm going to use is this dress that doesn't fit me anymore um, and it's a really pretty pattern on it. I'm going to use my cardboard shape to cut out my rectangle. I'm just going to cut off part of the dress first to make it easier. Guys, that would be a cute little top to <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of the bits where they stitched it and then cut through one of the sides of that and I'm going to leave the other one um, um, stitched because then I, it will be longer. I could definitely get two scrunchies out of this one. <laughs> I can make that as a top two. Because I got this massive um, piece here, I'm just going to cut in the middle here where it has been stitched. I'll save that bit for later. But now you are just going to want to lie it down. Now what you're going to want to do is get the cardboard and lie it in the corner and then mark it with a pen where it ends. So I'm just going to make a line. And draw the line all the way along. That doesn't now you're just going to want to cut that out. And guys, if any of you make one of these, make sure you tag me in your Instagram pictures. Now you've cut out your rectangle, I am going to glue it now, so I'm going to show you from the top how I do that. So guys, now you're going to want to get a hairband. So then place your hairband here on the material and it doesn't matter what colour it is because you're going to be covering it anyway. So get the corner and pass it through and put it to the other corner and then glue it there and then you can stick it down. Make sure you're gluing on the side that you want to show because you're going to be folding it later anyway. Just glue a little bit down. Pass it through and glue it down. Like so. And then carry on doing that method the whole way until you get to the end. And make sure there's no holes because as you'll have holes in your scrunchie where you've glued it, where you've glued it down. Guys, just glue it a little bit at a time to make it neat and tidy. As you can see, it's starting to look like a scrunchie already. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. I just got my last bit to pull through. Oh, 
You might have a little extra material on one side, but that does not matter. And this is what it should look like. So give it a couple minutes to dry, and then we're gonna turn the material inside out. So the next bit is a little bit tricky, but you've got to turn the material inside out. So find the hole, and then just push the material through. This material is quite thin, so it should be easier. And as you do that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the end comes out. So just feed it through and keep pulling at the end. This is what it will look like when you've turned it inside out. So now we need to fix the ends. So the first thing that you need to do is tuck one end inside the other. Then you need to fold that bit there if it's got a bit of a weird edge and glue there and then stick it down. So you end up with a neat end. So you need to make sure it is fixed properly. Now you need to do the same on the other side. So guys, there it is, here's my scrunchie. And most people wear it on their wrist now, which it looks really good on your wrist too. Let's test it out. Does it look nice? I'm gonna make the rest off camera and I'll be back when I'm finished. So guys, I put my favorite scrunch in my hair, which is the flower dress one that I made. I'll show you all the um, tops that I used to make the scrunchies and then I'm gonna show you the scrunchie. So I use this cute top here and this is how the scrunchie turned out. I really like it. It's a nice comfy scrunchie just to wear if like in school in a high bun or anything like that really. The next one was this like belly top one. As you can see, it's a really hard belly top one now. And this is the scrunchie. I really love the color because it's like a mint green. The next one that we made off camera beforehand was made of this fancy dress outfit that I wore as an evacuee kid. And this is the scrunchie that we made out of it and it looks really pretty. This is probably my second favourite one. And then we used this grey um, belly top. And we used the writing on this top too, and it says Amor. Which I think means love, and it's really pretty. And again, it's a really nice comfy one, because it has a really nice texture to it. And this is the one that I made out of the pink top right here. As you guys would have seen when I was making them, it's really easy. All you need is a old t-shirt or an old dress, and you can even use jeans if you want to for like a denim effect. And then you need a hot glue gun, scissors, and a pen and some cardboard. That is it really. So definitely go try it out because it is so easy. Make sure you go comment on my community page if you want me to do a three coloured tie dye um, scrunchie challenge. Because I could do it with me and my mum where you pick three colours and make a three coloured one. Because that would be really fun. So definitely comment if you want that. I would really love to hit 165,000 subscribers because at the minute we are currently on 164,126 so we're so close so please go and subscribe and also make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. So the shout out for today goes to Ella Robinson and that's because she put hashtag Emma Squad on my community page so if you want a shout out make sure you do that. And I'll see you on my next video. Love you. Bye.